Welcome back, everyone. Well, just this week in downtown Glens Falls, a new business came into town. Actually, it's not a new business to Glens Falls, but a new one downtown, which is always a great thing to see in downtown Glens Falls. And it's a Glens Falls food co-op. And joining me today are Rich Serino, somebody I've known, I think, Rich, I think it's 10 years now that we've known uh, each 2005, other. 2005, yes. That's right, that's unreal. And Susan Duncan, welcome, Sue. Very nice to have you, you here. Good. Now, Susan is the president of the food co-op, and you're the treasurer of the food co-op, correct? Correct. correct. And, uh, Sue, I'm going to start with you. Long ago, spring 2012, you had an idea. What was the idea? Well, we, that was when we opened up the store uh, at the Rock Hill Bakehouse. We were in rented space, uh, and that was the beginning of the Glens Falls Food Co-op. And what, what made you want to start the co-op? Well, it was really a, a large group of us together that had been planning for several months um, that we really wanted to have uh, healthier food options in our mm. neighborhood. And uh, we got together and made our plan to open the store and, and, uh, and here we are And lo and behold, you did. Yeah. Uh, you know, starting a food co-op is not an easy thing. A lot of people to coordinate, uh, make certain that you've got everything from transportation to uh, agreements with all of the local farmers and produce uh, uh, people and also, you know, setting up the co-op itself and then getting the memberships together and all that other stuff. I know because my wife and I were involved in a co-op many years ago. So, Rich, you've been involved since the beginning also. That's Pretty correct. much driven by the same thing? Yes. Um, uh, I helped the group because having had a couple of small businesses in the past, mm -hmm. um, I was familiar with all the small moving parts that yeah. are part of uh, forming any organization and then opening a retail location. So I helped them with their incorporation, with their setup, getting the point of sale in, getting systems in. Mm -hmm. Just you know, having done that before a couple of times from scratch, I let my expertise with that. You know what, and I don't want to just, that expertise, by the way, is with a capital E in front because you're dealing with New York State and you're dealing with a lot of licensing and you're dealing with a lot of codes and, you know, let's face it, you're talking about food, you know, so, you know, uh, hats off to you to be able to just even pull that off. That's, uh, that's, that's no easy feat. Now, um, recently this week, you moved the co-op from South Glens Falls, really on Route 9 there, is that, that's where it was, to yes. down, downtown Glens Falls in a beautiful location. Where is it, Sue? Sure, we're at 11 South Street in mm -hmm. the Empire Theater building. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's owned by Michael Cadis. Yeah, sure is. And it's a beautiful building. It was originally built in 1899, so there's mm -hmm. a lot of history there. Um, and we're just really happy to be in a, such a fine location. Boy, I bet. Now, Rich, what kind of food offerings are there at the co op? Well, we have our emphasis is on locally produced things. So we have produce that's seasonal produce. Mm -hmm. So right now there's lots of root vegetables. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a, there are apples, mm -hmm. and there's cider, mm -hmm. and there's meat, there's chicken, there are eggs, mm -hmm. there's dairy, mm -hmm. and uh, much of it comes from Washington County and Essex County. Yeah, it does. That's right. Yes. Now, uh, I'm sure the question comes up frequently. You know, we're in the dead of winter here, uh, a lot of farmers, but there are a lot of farmers who have big greenhouse operations, right? So they can supply you with some of the greens that you need. Wouldn't that be right? Yes, um, right now we were, we're working with Fresh Take Farm and mm -hmm. they, they do a lot of the markets. Um, we're one of their first stores that they're working with mm -hmm. and uh, so um, we'll be getting a good supply of greens probably supply of greens, in the right. next month or so. Yeah. Now you also uh, are locally sourced uh, eggs, cheeses, yogurt you said? Yes. You know, that, that's, all that is very healthy eating, right? Yes. Uh, but you want to know something? You hear it, the, the horror stories about meat and chicken hit the news, national news, just this past week again. Uh, that's locally sourced, all the meats are, aren't yes. they, from the beef farmers? Yes. And uh, what's the criteria there for that? The criteria? Yeah, the cri meaning in terms of uh, what standard does it have to hit for you? Well. We like to, we like the grass-fed or pasture-fed um, mm. animal-raised, um, also animal welfare approved. Um, where our farmers are treating the animals in a, humanely, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, uh, a non-GMO food Great. for the animals, so Great. we know that we're not eating 
mm -hmm. genetically modified food that is given to the animals. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's right. Boy, yeah. that hits the news all the time. Salmonella, uh, the, the, again, you know, oh, you can't really trace it. Yeah, it's in chicken and stuff like that. And you think to yourself, you got to be very careful out there. That's for sure. I love the idea of a food co-op. Hey, um, the, you can be a member. Yes. Right. Uh, you don't have to be a member to shop there, but boy, it sure does. Membership is, has its benefits. I, I, you know, I've heard that someplace yeah. before, Rich. I'm not <laughs> sure. Um, so what's involved with being a member? Well, being a member, uh, you sign up with us. Mm -hmm. There's a, a membership fee. We have uh, three levels. Mm -hmm. We have an individual at fifty dollars. We have a family at a hundred, and then we have a, a patron at two fifty. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that each, an annual dues? Uh, that's an annual yes, okay. membership. Yes, right. memberships last a year. Uh, membership uh, it comes with a little discount, mm -hmm. and then you get a better discount if you help out and pitch in with a four-hour or two four-hour shifts a month. Right, yeah. volunteering at the yes. food co-op itself. Yeah. That's yeah. right. It all sounds we, very familiar. We My wife have and I no. Did this. That's right. We have no yeah. payroll. Mm -hmm. We are all volunteers. We are member-owned, mm -hmm. member volunteer operated, a hundred percent. So all of the money really goes into improving the quality of what you do, which is, uh, I think, very admirable. By the way. Um, the, uh, what are the hours, Sue? Sure, we're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Got it. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, you said. That's okay. right. 9 a.m. To 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Oh, that's a lot of hours. So it's very convenient for people. Uh, located right downtown Glens Falls, uh, the co-op. And if any of you are members of co-ops, you know exactly what we're talking about. But if you're not, you certainly owe it to yourself to just check it out. There is a real difference in the quality of the food in the heart and the spirit of the people who provide the food and also the way it tastes. Let's face it, there is a difference, right? Yes. Well, Rich, it's great to see you again. And Margo, who's off camera. And Susan, very nice to meet you. And best of luck with the co-op. All right, thank you. Thanks you're, very much. You're quite welcome. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.